What is up, Star Seeds, and Happy New Year if you're watching this when this came out. It is 2020, a very powerful year, and today I'm going to be talking about how the water signs handle relationships. Now, I have talked about how fire, earth, and air signs handle relationships already. This is my last video on how the signs handle relationships, going in-depth um, on three signs in each video. But there is timestamps if you want to fast forward to certain parts in the description. There is also a link to my astrology playlist, um, which includes all of my astrology videos. I have videos on all different cultures. So please go check that out. But first, I'm going to give you guys a general description of how water signs handle relationships. All relationships, romantic, business, family, friends, what have you. And then we are going to be getting into cancers, how they handle relationships and a card reading for them. Scorpio, how they handle relationships and a card reading for them. And Pisces, how they handle relationships and a card reading for them. And if you are thinking about not watching the whole video, please at least go check out the end. There is a very, very, very important card reading at the end of it, okay? Um, I have extra cards, too, that I haven't done before. Um, I want to see your take on that. If you like all the cards that I pull, or if you like me keeping it to just a few, I'm going to switch it up in the future. Um, please check out the end of this video. You know, it's 2020, so I include a little bit of an extra talking part at the end there. Um, after my important card reading, so if you go to that timestamp, you're going to see the cards, that's the main thing. Um, but here we go, water signs in relationships, they are the most emotional, okay? So, earth is nurturing, um, but water is more compassionate and emotional with the nurturing. You know, that's the difference there. Um, I said in my air video the air is the most intelligent. And I think water is the most intuitive, which comes the most wise in the smartness, you know? So you can get that from being the most spiritual, being the most intuitive. Um, Fire is very wild and uncontrollable, but I feel like water is, it can be just as uncontrollable if it chooses to be, you know? So with that uncontrollableness is the secretiveness. Yeah, water signs can be definitely the most secretive. So in relationships, watch out for the secretiveness with any water sign. Um, usually it's not that bad depending on the sign and depending on the relationship. But um, overall, they're the most um, caring um, when they want to be because they can get the most insight and they can be the most emotional and compassionate with that. So they overall have the capability to be the most, um, you know, fertile and generous when they want to be, you know, their water, we need water to live. So we need air to live as well. You know, we need stability and we need heat, but water is the thing that all living things need as well. That just kind of rules our planet. Um, so take that spin on it. But here we go. If you don't know what all of your zodiac signs are, please go to astro.cafeastrology.com right now and check out your birth chart because all of your planets have a zodiac sign. And for this video, you are going to want to look at your sun, moon, rising, if you know the time of your birth. That's how you come off to people at first, your first impression. And um, your mercury, how you communicate, and your Venus, how you handle relationships. Now, here we go, starting with Cancer. What is up, Cancer? I apologize for the glare, but we are going to get into these cards after I explain how you guys handle relationships. Now, Cancer is like Libra mixed with Virgo, mixed with Pisces, mixed with Capricorn, okay? You guys are the cardinal 
water sign. You are the sweetest zodiac sign of them all. That's always the first thing I'm going to say about Cancer. You are ruled by the moon, so you're in tune with the cycles of the moon. You're in tune with the cycles and emotions of people, and you're the most checky epi okay you check up on people the most usually in person unless you have gemini somewhere in your chart but whenever you're hanging out with people if you're at school or work you're always asking people how they are you're great in social situations naturally okay you are a social butterfly you are such a homie um if you're not hanging out with people and being a homie then you are just a home body okay you have a whole ass relationship with your couch and your bag of chips or whatever you're you know craving at the moment but you love to just do your own thing cancer that is a part of your energy um you organize your house you keep it nice and tidy because you love a good home space so in relationships you need that time away to just be at home and do your home thing you know what i mean um you know what i mean <laughs> so we are going to get into these cards now it's going to better explain how you guys handle relationships here we go i'm going to read these off for you and zoom in we have living totally. We have remaining centered, self-acceptance, play, meditation in reverse, energy in reverse, sex in reverse, and the journey. Down here from the other deck, we have silence, possibilities, the misser, adventure, and projections, okay? This looks like twins to me at first, and I do want to say this is the one card that, like, I almost wanted to turn in reverse, but I feel like you have overcome these projections. I'm just going to say that. So, this misser and this living totally, I feel like Cancer, you have these things in your life. She has all of these pretty gems, these feathers in her hair. Um, she wants to be beautiful. She wants to be so pretty, but um, she's still not happy. She still hasn't achieved the beauty she desires. Um... We have this living totally, um, they're on a beach, they're living lavish, as you can see, ass crack out and all, because they can. Um, but in relationships, are people pushing you to do this? Because I just feel like you're not truly happy. I feel like you need to go on an adventure. This could include people, okay? There's lots of different possibilities with this. Because um, I feel like you have already accepted yourself. You are on this kind of journey of self-acceptance still, always. Um, you're a very playful person, Cancer. Very playful person. And you have energy, but you have none right now for the thing you need it for okay and this could be spiritual this could be however this pertains to you but we have this meditation card in reverse and we have this sex card in reverse cancer this could literally be about sex this is a relationship video but um this is just about life in general you know the new year you need to create something okay Maybe you need to let out your energy, um, but you need to create something. You need to get the energy for it first. Um, go alone. Maybe this adventure is just being alone in silence, okay? That's an adventure in itself. 
but this doesn't mean literally being quiet and meditating you can meditate however you need but with this person like sitting like this silence cancer i feel like out of any water sign you were the one definitely diving into um spiritual um realms the most in meditation okay for sure with these cards that i see 100 percent so what this means in relationships is evaluating them, um, spicing them up, um, and also taking time for yourself. That's like contradicting, I know. But this could mean doing it with someone or doing it alone. The choice is yours, but just make sure it's with the right person if you're choosing to do this with someone. And by the right person um for you especially cancer i'm getting the message like cut out the material things um that's gonna give you your energy back the material things are draining your energy um the projections are draining your energy you are on a journey for something much greater cancer much greater that is pretty much all I have for you. I hope you guys have a great week. What is up, Scorpio? I apologize for the glare, but I'm going to get into these cards in a little bit for you. Now, my Mercury and Venus is in Scorpio, and my Sun is in Scorpio for Vedic Astrology. So, I am on Team Scorp. Um, I know so many people whose Venus is in Scorpio. A lot of Scorpio sun signs in my life. But we are going to get into how you guys handle relationships. So this is the fixed water sign. You guys can be stubborn as all hell. Um, you're freaky. Okay, if this is a romantic relationship, then oh my god. You guys know what I'm talking about. Let's try to keep it PG-13 at least. But um... In any relationships, you are either dominant or submissive, depending on your mood, depending on the person, um, depending on the relationship. So in business, you know, it depends other signs in your chart. Um, you know, if you have Leo in there, you are going to be dominant. You know, if you have Virgo in there, they're going to be more of a submissive. But... In all relationships, that's going to be how it goes. So, especially if your Venus is in Scorpio, um, in the bedroom, this is going to come out as really um, down to try anything, really into whatever um, you're into. And anyways, you guys, Scorpio in relationships, you just love so hard, okay? You love fully and you commit to someone in whatever way you agree to. You're loyal at whatever extent you agree to, but you just love fully no matter what. And then when love is broken, you resent really hard as well, okay? Um, hate's a strong word, but Scorpios aren't afraid to use it. And... Um, it's er it's harsh because like even though i'm a scorpio i am and i don't really know what aspect of my chart is holding me back from saying that because i'm mercury and scorpio as well but it might just be you know on such a cusp of libra that i'm like ugh, i hate that word but scorpio you guys are you know blunt dominant when you want to be and also submissive and just into the weirdness okay you can be possessive and you want a little weirdo to be yours scorpio okay that's really that's just i don't know any scorpio that doesn't want that okay so that's why i'm saying it but depending on the relationships you know in business you want something unique to be your own as well now we're going to get into these cards to kind of fully explain how scorpios handle relationship and also give you some insight 
on you know the new year 2020 or whenever you're watching this so here we go i'm going to read them off and zoom in for you guys we have that which never dies in reverse we have blessings in disguise we have the foolish heart we have beyond greed we have a cup of tea in reverse we have wishful thinking in reverse we have love and we have a light on the path down here we have the rebel we have awareness in reverse we have completion in reverse and we have understanding in reverse and we have ripeness I hate this glare I'm trying to get it all in for you guys um with these cards I feel like this rebel is you Scorpio you are this rebel and damn this is a powerful spread just totally about your relationships. I felt like cancer was about relationships, but could go towards more of, you know, just life in general too, which of course this can, you know, but I don't want to say in life in general, you're totally unaware, totally incomplete, totally un-understanding, um, but I feel like this is more surrounding a relationship, okay? So, because we have this love right above it. We have this foolish heart. Um, but with this ripeness card, I've talked about all these other ones down here. With this ripeness card, I love this card for you, Scorpio. I've never pulled it for any sign on YouTube yet. Never pulled it on YouTube yet, and I just love it. Um, this is always ripe. This fruit is always ripe for you. This opportunity is always here, like... This love, this person, this partner, this friend is always here for you. Um, it's like this light on this path and this person is like amazing. You know, we have this beyond greed there too. It's like blessing in disguise. It's like that which never dies in reverse because you're not really acknowledging it. Um, you're not doing amazing right now. We have this cup of tea in reverse we have this wishful thinking in reverse, but it's kind of a blessing. You need to be kind of distant right now because this is what's leading you um, on your path, really, Scorpio. Um, you are finding your way um, slowly but surely because right now you really aren't complete. You really aren't understanding. You really aren't aware of this you know this foolish heart card can be positive it can be like spiritual and like people aren't recognizing you or it can be you aren't recognizing the situation so it can go either way because it's a very general reading but with this wishful for thinking in reverse and with this cup of tea in reverse and with this love and just all these cards under it it's like it's you Scorpio right now with this situation that I feel like just passed and is still lingering. Um, you're so smart, Scorpio. Like, so smart. Um, you're so generous. So generous. Especially in love. Only in love. Like, you are a person that thinks of yourself honestly, Scorpio. You're this fixed sign who's so smart and wise who knows what to do but with love you just let people take advantage of you with any thing romantic so i feel like this is definitely a romantic situation scorpio what did you get into um it's not fully bad because this person you have an amazing person as well okay and i feel like this person you've been through so much with them or there's this person that um is just really attractive and really um really amazing and you see the goodness in them or 
you see how you can make them a good person. You want to try. But um, you don't have to do that with everyone, Scorpio. Uh, you need to take time and just become aware because I feel like uh, it's really about, you know, you and your career and your whatever you got going for yourself right now. And that's what you need to focus on. You're not complete, so you are trying to complete yourself with love. And you keep repeating this. Definitely, Scorpio. But um, please try to understand. Please saying, you know, understand, become more aware. It's not going to make you. But diving deeper into what you really want. Diving into what you know you need, Scorpio. Come on. You know what to do. You know what to do. I'm going to leave you with that, you guys. Um, have a great week. What is up, Pisces? I apologize for the glare, but I'm going to get into these cards after I explain for you how you handle relationships. Now, as a Pisces, you are the ruler of Neptune and Jupiter, okay? These planets rule unconscious dreams and philosophy, okay? These are very powerful planets. This is the last sign of the zodiac. This is a very powerful sign to be okay it's the real planet of dreams okay it's the extension of aquarius which is also a very dreamy sign but as a pisces you like material things okay you either come off like you want things or you really do just want things in relationships you desire things okay you crave things and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a thing that could start arguments. It's a thing that um, makes you come off is needy sometimes. But really, you just want love, okay? You are such a loving sign. You are a person that has a sense of humor. This is like a defense mechanism you have. But you're just so funny, okay? You're like a stand-up comedian. You depend on who you are, what other things you are you have in your chart. But funniest sign, definitely, overall. Um, you are fluctuant, okay? That's the word I... That's the word I came up with for you, Pisces. Fluctuant because sometimes... One moment you're clingy in relationships... And the next, you are, like, off, by yourself, distant, doing your own thing, okay? I feel like you really like to create things, too. You are a lot like cancer, okay? I feel like you guys are the signs that are possibly the most similar. Um, because you're both very intuitive and you need your alone time, okay? You're a lot like Aquarius as well, um, but Pisces, definitely in your own energy, okay? You have a lot of fire energy too, and Earth. You're just very a very mutable sign. You're the mutable water sign, so I think that explains things. Um, we are going to get into these cards for you, Pisces, because that's going to better explain this, I think. Um... Here we go. We're going to read them off first. We have repetence in reverse. Okay, I'm going to try to angle this for you so you can see it better. I'll hold it up later because of the glare. But we have anger. We have single-pointedness in reverse. And we have authenticity in reverse. We have recognition, we have dropping the past in reverse, we have prayer, and we have laughter. Down here we have conditioning, clinging to the past, thunderbolt, compromise, and the dream. Alright, now with these cards, this is the most, um, like, 
situation in plain view I got. Pisces was the easiest to lay down for me when I was drawing these cards for you guys. Um, you're clinging to the past, Pisces. You clicked on this video about relationships and you are not dropping the past. Okay, you're clinging to it. Um, and it's either because of your conditioning, because of the way you grew up, um, that you are acting out in anger right now. You are like repeating this cycle of anger. Or, you know, this anger in your life and your relationships, you know, which you recognize, um, reminds you of your past that like you feel like is being clung to right now and, you know, repeated and you're just going in this single direction. You're not going in the direction that you actually want to go in. Um, we have this dream here next to the compromise. I feel like you can live this dream life if you compromise with people you have relationships with, okay? You're not being authentic to yourself right now with this authenticity in reverse. The single pointedness in reverse, okay? We have this dropping the past in reverse. So we need to drop this, but we haven't, okay? This is just in plain view for you Pisces. We have this prayer card. It's like, come on. It's like, you're so amazing. Um, you know, but there's this thunderbolt. You're this thunderbolt right now. This thunderbolt in your life and in your relationships and just in your life in this new year in 2020. This is just all about your life, Pisces. So whatever is in your life, if this is work, if this is school, if this is romantic relationship, family, friend, whoever, whatever this is, Pisces, it's in plain view. And um, we have this laughter and you're so funny, Pisces. Come on, you're supposed to be having this, like, dream life, this amazing time. And um, you just need to compromise with these people, cut people out who are too angry, who are repeating these bad cycles, who are your past and need to stay in your past. Um, you need to be authentic to yourself in your relationships. And, um, you know, forget about the conditioning. Forget about what you came from. Just move forward to this dream. Look at this dream card. This is, what, this is what you can have, Pisces. Come on. Come on, okay? Flip that authenticity around. Um, that's really all I have to say for you. Have a great week. All right, hello to everyone watching this video. This is the general message the reading for all the zodiac signs and a message, a very important one regarding 2020, the new year, and what you guys need to do for this huge transformation that we are all going through always. Whenever you are watching this video, this is the message for you, okay? I'm going to read these cards off and then I have some extra cards as well that I wanted to throw in because this is the last video where I am pulling cards for the zodiac signs and how they handle relationships for now. Of course I'm always going to do readings and videos like this but here we go. We have ego, disciplehood, ultimate accident, transmutation, desire, and greed over here we have creativity sharing and guidance we have flowering rebirth and the lovers we have turning in letting go and going with the flow i have these cards here i want you guys to look at pick a card focus on the cards. This isn't really pick a card reading, it's like a mini one in the video at the end of the video. So now I'm gonna flip them over here for you guys so you can see what they are as well. All right, we have breakthrough and success. This is where I was gonna put them 
I want you guys to let me know how you like this, okay? Because these are more cards than I pulled for the other videos, but a, I, I just felt like pulling this many cards, okay? So I want you guys to leave comments and let me know if you like me pulling all the cards that I feel drawn to pull, okay? Even if it's so many. Um, in the future, I'm going to have, you know, better angles, better visuals, but here is the other cards. All right. You know, I lay them out in a certain order, and these are just all of them, okay? So these are all of the ones I really wanted to put down. Like, I really want to put this card down, even though it's just all black. <laughs> I really want to put all these cards here, but I was like, you know, I only put three rows at the end of all the other videos, so... I wanted to show, you know, an aesthetically pleasing one and the real look of the draw that I pulled because there's so much that I pulled before I actually do a pile. And it's not like I make all the piles look pretty for YouTube. That's far from the truth. I just, you know, this isn't how I laid them down at first. I laid these and then I added these next, but... I was like, I don't think I need these. This is just what I did for the other ones, but I'm going to add in these extras. So this is pretty much it, you guys, but do pay attention that you're going to get success going with the flow. Going through this nothingness, which includes this like isolation, this turning in, this letting go, this going with the flow, is going to lead to this breakthrough, okay? But... Turning in and letting go is going to give you this guidance, this creativity. Being patient and listening to this guidance, using it to create something to share is going to lead you to this rebirth, okay? It's going to blossom you and flower you into this um, new, mature person, um, Use these good partnerships right now. Um, use this intuition you're getting to pick the right partnerships, okay? We have this transmutation card. It's right next to the breakthrough. Isn't that so pretty? Like, we have this desire. We have this greed. We have this ultimate accident. We have this ego. We have this disciplehood, okay? These cards are more harsh, Okay, this ultimate accident could lead to this transmutation. This ego and desire and greed, like all this needs to just kind of be washed away and just focus on this rebirth. Focus on that. Focus on the bigger picture. Heal the world, heal the whole, heal the soul heal the wounds, okay? So, isolation. This whole bottom row is what we need to do right now. Everyone. That's the general message. I've been doing these general messages at the end of these last, you know, three videos, and this one is the fourth one. So, pay attention to these, okay? Go watch them all. And I've pulled some of the same cards, all right? I use these two decks for all these videos because they're such you know, good, pretty cards I got as a gift, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna use other decks, new decks I have for new videos, um, I'm gonna do different videos in the future, and, you know, I'm just sharing my message because it's a unique message, and, you know, I haven't found anyone quite like me online, not trying to sound 
special because trust me we are all special in our own way and I want to do this to prompt you to do something similar or do your own thing whatever you feel called to do you know I hope these messages are prompting that and prompting that change um elevating you higher you know I make no money off of this uh, I do have a Patreon that no one has donated to, but you can check out the link in the description of this video if you want to be kind and you want to be helpful and you want to help me um, spread this message further and help more people so we can all be happy in 5D together. And if you want to check out what 5D is and you want to check out um, more educational spiritual info and become more aware and work on yourself more and better understand and become more complete and you know you want to drop the past and stop clinging to it and you want to go on an adventure and explore new possibilities then check out my channel i hope you guys have a great week love and light and the hybrid children are coming soon